This is Twit. Uh, machine learning has been touted as the next thing in the next industrial revolution. It has its goods and its bads. It doesn't always get it right, especially if you know how to feed it misinformation. However, if nothing else, machine learning can be scary with how right it sometimes can be. Machine learning can correctly guess a lot of things about you, including some of the most insensitive information. For instance, it can reliably predict your sexual orientation, whether you're pregnant or whether you want to quit your job or not, or whether you're likely to die soon. That's crazy. Now, researchers can predict race based on Facebook lights, and officials in China use facial recognition to identify and track the minority ethnic groups that are out there. Now, do the machines actually know these things or are they making in informed guesses and if they're making an inference about you just the same as any human you know might do is there really anything wrong with them being so astute well let's chat about a couple cases here in the u.s target's story predicting who's pregnant is probably the most famous example of an algorithm making sensitive inferences about people there was a small fallout due to this because some parents were actually alerted to their children being pregnant before they were even told. Now think about that for a second. Somehow Target inferred this from purchases or obtained health information that normally organizations are regulated to have. So are we ironically facing a downside when predictive models perform too well? well? We know there's actually a cost when models predict incorrectly, but is there also a cost when they predict correctly? Well, it's easy to think of reasons why people wouldn't want someone to know these things. Like as of 2013, Hewlett Packard was predictably scoring its more than 300,000 workers with the probability of whether they are going to quit their job or not. Now, as another example, facial recognition technologies can serve as a way to track location, decreasing the fundamental freedom to move about without disclosure since, for example, publicly positioned security campers can identify people at specific times and places. Now, research has also shown that predictive models can also discern another per personal sub bunch of personal traits here attributes such as race and ethnicity. Now this brings us to China. Now their government applies facial recognition to identify and track members of different ethnic groups, uh, actually which are oppressed by the government. Now the first known case of the government using machine learning to profile ethnicity, it's a it's actually a real challenge to draw a line as to which predictive objectives pursued with machine learning are ethical, let alone which should be legislated against, if any. But at the very least, it's important to stay vigilant when machine learning serves to empower a pre-existing unethical practice and when it generates the data that must be handled with care.